Hello there. Welcome to the second tutorial on Python GUI programming with Tikinta. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about frames. The first question I would like to answer is what is a frame? Well, simply put, a frame is a widget that holds other widgets. As we go on, we'll be working with widgets. Widget stands for Windows Gadget. So we'll be working with a lot of this, like combo boxes, entry, buttons, and all. Now, the frame is like a container that holds all these other widgets. Now, enough of the talking. Let's see what it really looks like. So let's create our first frame. Well, from our first program, uh, okay, first things first, let us actually save this. Okay, so save as let me just I created a folder for this program too so I'm going to name this as frame now remember we are creating Windows program so it is very important that you add this suffix dot pyw take note of this okay it wasn't done in the first tutorial but henceforth please save your Windows program as the pyw very very important so save now from our first program we actually did a few stuff and uh, there will be some repetition here so first things first we have from Tikinta import everything now next up what I'm going to do now is going to be from Tikinta import TTK now TTK is something we'll be making use of often especially now that we're about to start working with frames and other widgets so I just have to import it. So when it's time for us to make use of it, you shall see. So root is equal to TK, TK class we are creating the uh, window. Now root dot geometry. Uh, let's make this uh, 500 by 600. Then root uh, the title is going to be um or the title now let's call this frames at work okay so i like to do my root up main loop in advance so uh let's just leave that now it is between here we are going to create our frame after creating our window before the main loop we have to create our frame there okay right here so let us start without wasting time now we have to give our frame a variable name okay so in this case i will name it app okay now creating the frame we say ttk dot frame okay so we have created the frame where do we want to place the frame we want to place place the frame inside the root window that is the first parameter you are going to supply to the frame root because that is the name of our window and that is where we want to place the frame okay very very important next up since our frame is going to be empty so let us specify the width now what is going to go on after now is called configuration options okay so we are going to specify the width let's say i want the width of my frame to be 500 if that's not too much then the height to also be uh, oh, we don't need this 500 okay so that's that for that then next up we want to display our frame for us to display our frame we need something called a geometry manager okay a geometry manager we're going to talk about geometry managers much later but actually allows us to display our widgets just know that for now when it is tutorial for uh, geometry managers you learn more so the geometry manager we are going to make use of in this case is grid like this okay so we say the name of our frame the grid now when we do this okay let me control s and run this we actually do not see our frame okay now see what i'm saying so this is just like the normal window we create in the we created in the first tutorial we can't see our frame but how can we then see our frame so let me just close this and let us add a few more configuration options. Let me add um, relief. Okay, relief actually specify what we want our frame to look like. 
okay one of the option is raised okay there are many options by default is flat okay that's why we didn't see anything so this is another option raised okay then we can accompany it with the border width and we're going to specify the border width to be two okay now with this we should be able to see what our frame actually looks like okay so let me just save this and run okay so now you can see the frame right let me expand the window a bit so you can see the frame 500 by 500 it's quite large the width is quite much consume the whole window i could just say okay let me just reduce it reduce it a bit to 300 okay so that we can see that okay so you can see the width reduced a bit and um that is how interesting it gets okay so this is our frame now this is the raised okay this is as a result of the raised it's a raised um relief now we could also specify another one just for you to see another example we could have um reach let's take reach as an example here you see see that this is a bit different from the former one so there are actually six uh, options for the relief configuration option we've got the flat which is the default relief we've got raised sunken solid ridge and groove okay so you can practice with this later on now we can also see border width here yeah. okay so you see here we are actually specifying um, the configuration options. There's also, I want to show you that there is another way for us to specify configuration options. Okay. Now, you remember how to create dictionaries, right? You can also specify configuration options using the dictionary style. For example, the relief. Okay. We could set the relief and um, give it the option of. Uh, let me return it back to raised okay so which means that we would not need to specify it here as a configuration option anymore so we've already we've done that here this is the same thing as what was there before but just another way of doing it so you might want to choose this style over that that is that purely depends on you okay so where is our window can find it okay here you are so you see the same thing happened we have a raised relief and everything is working perfectly fine no error so that is for relief then border width that's that for that then um you could as well make use of width and height as you can see to specify the width and height you only need this when you have not placed any widget inside the frame but once you begin to place widgets inside the frame, the frame automatically adjusts to the widgets you have placed inside the frame. You will see examples of this in the future tutorials. Okay. Then there's also another option called padding. Okay. Let's say we want to add padding to our uh, frame. Okay. Now this cannot really work here until we start placing widgets inside the frame but i just want to introduce you to padding okay so we can specify the internal spacing let's say we want extra space inside the widget we can specify that inside padding okay we specify whether we want it to the four corners okay so for example we could specify 20 20 20 20 this means to the left side padding 20 to the top padding 20 to the right side padding 20 and to the bottom padding 20 so this specifies the four sides okay we can't see anything yet so we'll just comment this and see the action of this in the next tutorial then there's also one more configuration option for frame that is called style okay we will not talk about style yet okay but I'm just introducing this to you in advance. All right. So that's that for that. And um, that is your, that's all for now about frames. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. I would paste a link to 
this um, source code where you can download this source code from I'll paste the link to that below this video okay so in the next tutorial we'll talk about a widget that we can place inside the frame this widget is called the label okay so I'm excited to take you through that so I'll see you in my next tutorial do not forget to subscribe to my channel bye for now